emerges, like sunlight breaking through the clouds. Barbus must have replaced the arch cannon weeks ago, all to set the wheels in motion to steal my divine energy. Every move has a purpose. Stealing my energy so discord and disaster throughout the land, and ultimately revealed the location of the Clockwork City. If Barbus and his master can bypass the wards and enter Sotha Seal's domain, Clavicus Vile distracted me, weakened me, all to locate the Clockwork City. Perhaps we require a Daedra to fight a Daedra. Azura's champion, Saren, in Archcanon's office. Seek guidance from her patron. But hurry, my time grows short. Outlander, over here. I've been trying to find something that makes sense of all. <gasps> Mortal, the Lady, the Lady of, of Twilight, Twilight has, has words, words for, for you. you. So Vivet deigns to ask for help. I foresaw such an event, but scarcely believed it. Listen well. For if you continue to perform flawlessly, we might yet thwart the efforts of Clavicus Vile and his hound, Barbus. Just as I anticipated, the mysteries reveal that Barbus seeks to enter the Clockwork City. So far, so the sealed wards have impeded him, but the hound has soon arrived. You must beat him to the prize, the reservoir that holds Vivek's stolen energy. Such knowledge has been hidden even from me, mortal. But I know someone who can provide you with the means to travel to Sotha Seal's creation. Stand back, and I shall summon the Mage of Cogs and Gears. Interesting. That shouldn't have happened. Now, where in oblivion am I? Mage, Mage this, this mortal, mortal speaks, speaks with, with the authority, authority of, of the, the mother's soul. soul. Interesting. Summoned by a Daedric Prince and her mortal mouthpiece. I was right in the middle of a crucial experiment. But I suppose I can spare a few clicks of the cogs for Azura and my erstwhile assistant. So, did you break the tonal inverter? No, not going to happen. No offense to the Lady of Twilight, but Sotha Seal was quite adamant about keeping the place hidden and warded against the Daedra. Wait. Pistons fall into place. This concerns Sunara and Lord Vivek, I presume. Barbus, another Daedra. Thinking, thinking. So, 
So the seal's forgotten tools modified to steal Vivek's energy, which in turn energized the Clockwork City. Lit it up like the top of Red Mountain. Even Vile's dog would be able to see that. What is Barbus after? Wait, gears click into place? The Reservoir! You need to reach the Reservoir that contains Vivek's stolen energy before Barbus. I can get us to the entrance in Set's vault, beneath the Mournhold Temple. Ready to go? You'll need my help. I know the city almost as well as so the seal. Follow me. Sooner or to get inside. We have to hurry. Daedra! Vile creatures of chaos! Deal with them, please.
Vivex energy. It, it flows through Sonora. That's how Barbas is able to circumvent the city's defenses. Why is he waiting over there? I'll never understand what motivates these Daedra. Yes, thanks to Sotha Seal's magic, my former master is exceedingly brilliant. I thought you already knew that. Anyway, there's no way we'd fit in here at our normal size, so the magic altered us as we passed through the doorway. Always a chance. Just depends upon the way the gears align. But I don't think he can spare too much to use against us. He needs it to reach the reservoir and do whatever Clavicus Vile sent him to do. Now, I really think we need to get moving. <laughs> oh! My favorite goop has finally arrived! <laughs> You've been told in the day to the door if you want. Then follow me into the maintenance junction. but I really am happy to see you. I grew rather fond of you while I inhabited that dreadful dark elf form. Now you get to see me in all my glory. And soon, you'll be able to witness my greatest achievement. I'm going to bring my master's grandest plan ever to fruition. He'll be so proud of me. Just stay out of my way and enjoy the show. I promise it will be highly entertaining. Oh, yes, indeed. The grandest! My master and his partner seek to... Oh, no, no, no. Bad, Barbus. I almost gave away the surprise. Oh, you're a tricky one, you are. But my master will be so pleased that I stepped in and made his plan even better. Should take care of the defenses. At least the... I disabled most of the defenses in this section, but Sofa Seal installed numerous safeguards. I advise caution just in case. Barbus is ahead of us, but I know many paths through the city. I'm just like the fox that chased the hound. With my help, the probability calculates in your favor, but you must keep moving. The hound won't dawdle. Unless he comes upon an interesting smell, or a tree. Since we know Barbus' ultimate destination, I can open routes he can't access. Only one logical place. To the atelier where Sotha Seal conducted his study of divine energy. Sunora would have sent the stolen power there. It's not far. What Barbus and his master want with Vivek's energy, though, remains unclear.
Joy found a way through just like you said. But Barbus had sugar on. What does the Vex Toy have? The Vex Toy has me, you annoying creature. This way. the seal's favorite atelier. I think Barbas is already inside. That's the atelier behind me. Not only is this the workshop where Soth the seal experimented with divine energy, it also has is one of the reservoirs that can be used to power the entire city. A reservoir currently filled with Vivex energy. Almost certainly. Sunara led him right to it. It won't take the Hound long to figure out how to access Vivek's stolen energy. Then he'll try to open a portal for his master, Clavicus Vile. Maybe. Probably. It's a distinct possibility. Certainly the Hound and his master think so. Whether it will actually work or not, you have to go in there and stop him. The danger's too great to ignore. No, no, that's inadvisable. The Atelier has defenses. You have no idea what it will do if it marks one of Sotha Seal's apprentices as an enemy. Neither do I. You go. I'll use the controls over there and help you from out here.
Fusion clutch activated. Open that vault and destroy its defenses. Now, open the North Fort and destroy its defenses. Clutch is active. Open it and enter the energy reservoir. Range fluctuations ahead. Barbus is manipulating the energy reservoir. Hurry!
something special when I kill you.
So, you're the mortal who gave my poor dog so much trouble. I suppose we should have a chat, you and I. You discipline my dog. He was only trying to appease his master, and I'd never harm a hair on whatever insignificant creature you hold dear. You, on the other hand, require a lesson in manners. Indeed, what ambition! As you can see, Barbus isn't a bad dog. He does get easily excited and overzealous. He embellished my plans somewhat, but it all worked out in the end. And we found the Clockwork City. This little flea thinks it's smart, but my plans are beyond its comprehension. Still, by delaying the inevitable, you caused my associates and I some trouble. You'll stay here until you're no longer a threat. How does a few decades sound to you? Oh, master. Quiet, dog. Haven't you? Wait. Who dares intrude upon my lesson? Found you. Over here. At... Oh. Clavicus vile. This isn't good. I lost you somewhere between the Clockwork City and Vivek. But it was simple enough to trace your energy signature to this Daedric tribe. Unfortunately, some power is interfering with my efforts to open a portal for you. Oh, that would be unfortunate for you. Luckily, you have me to assist you. Well, me and Sonora. Expend a small amount of Vivek's energy at the statue. And that should provide enough of a distraction for me to pull you out of there. Be gone, meddling wizard! That stings, little flea! Actually worked. <laughs> well, glad to see you're still alive, assistant. Hurry, Outlander. The Vec is nearly spent. My time draws to a close. Were you successful? Can you restore my energy? So you retrieved my stolen energy. You stopped Barbus. Now, return what is rightfully mine. To quote my 75th exhortation, certainty is the brother of fear. Nothing is certain, but I have confidence in you. And what you have done, use the staff, return my energy, or not, in a little while, it won't matter. Oh, you soon around, and restore my energy.
Praise Vivek, his energy is restored. Remarkable. No Ordinator or Armager could have done any better. You uncovered a Daedric spy in our midst, brought a living god back from the brink of death, and saved all of Vardenfell. Well done, my friend. As my next sermon shall proclaim, modesty is the false cloak of a flatterer, or the sincere garment of the humble. Again, you have my gratitude, and that of all my people. Indeed, even those who rail against the tribunal owe you their lives. Remarkable. As my next sir, you have done much for me and for Vardenfell. But as the warrior says, do not think the battle is over when the enemy is dead. The hearts and minds of the people must also be won. I must ask you for one more service. Gratitude is its own reward, I once told the crowds in Ebenhard. But I found that some of my followers appreciate something more tangible. Help me reward those who aided in the saving of Vardenfell, so we can reassure my people. To start, retrieve the Archcanon's signet from the Hall of Wisdom. It is time to appoint a new head priest. I shall gather my people and meet you at my statue on the central canton. It shall be a glorious ceremony, my friend. Rejoice. You cursed the darkness with good reason. Now praise the return of the light. The eyes and ears of the warrior poet returns. And just in time for the gathering crowd. Were you able to locate the arch cannon's signet? Continue to guard it. For it represents not only my loyal servant Tarvis, but also the past and future of my priesthood. And take this as well, to aid you in your next task. You have been my eyes and ears in the world. Now be my hands. 
Within the modest sack resides gifts for my faithful servants. Blessings from me, though I would have you deliver them. You served me in adversity. Now join me in celebration. As I call forth my faithful, reach into the sack and give them the first thing you find. They shall hear my words of praise and gratitude, while it shall be your hand that rewards them. Are you ready, friend of Vivek? Overseer Shiralas, step forth. Overseer Shiralas, you sacrificed your blessing stones to aid the warrior poet. Well done. Take these recharged stones and finish building my city. After relaxing with your patient wife. Thank you, Lord Vivek. I shall do as you ask. Battles up. Approach. Your knowledge of the mysteries of my brother Sotha Seal and the intricate twists and turns of portal magic were invaluable. Take this, and use it well to further your experiments. Gemstones, filled with a tiny fraction of divine energy. Amazing and so very generous. With careful tuning, this could improve portal magic a hundredfold. Thank you. Canon Levul, kneel before me. Was that... Did Lord Vivek summon me? Archcanon Tarvis served us well until his death. But when I was most in need of assistance, Canon Levul rose to the occasion. Now rise once more as Archcanon Levul. My lord, I'm not worthy. But I shall endeavor to become so. Thank you. And I can't wait to inform my ancestors. In every poem, it's the last stanza that holds the most meaning. Once a stranger to our land, now a friend forever. Step forward. You come before me with an empty sack, but have no fear. As I have written, treat your enemies well, and your friends even better. Know that I consider you to be a very good friend. Will you accept the honor I'm about to bestow upon you? Then let it be known that from this moment forth, you shall be called the Champion of Vivek. And along with my thanks, take this modest reward. I foresee even greater achievements in your future. But for now, be content to be the Hero of Morrowind. Now go forth and rejoice.